My name is Amina Mahmoud. Uh, Your Excellency, I'm from Mombasa County. Um, I've studied your affinity for the military. Uh, they do their work, it's obvious. Uh, so my question is, what role do you see the military playing in the next 10 years? And uh, do you think development uh, expenditure should be directed to them? Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for that question. And uh, despite the fact that I have been accused of trying to militarize the country, which is fake, I am not. But the first and principal role of any military in any nation is to ensure that they defend the sovereignty and territorial boundaries of a nation. That is their number one core mandate. But I have also said that in executing that mandate, it is also possible for our military to be part and parcel of the social economic development of a nation, of empowering people and creating prosperity for people. And I do not see those two as two issues that are in conflict with one another. And let me tell you what I have seen personally through working with the military. And maybe, unfortunately, my, 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 my civil servants and others will not agree. But it is true, because I have clear-cut examples. I have seen that their efficiency, their discipline, and their integrity is something that our own civil service, our own ministers, need to emulate. And I will give just but three examples. I tasked the military once when I would travel to Kisumu and I visited Kisumu port. And when I visited, the port was dead. No activity whatsoever. It was a ghost town. And when I asked the relevant authorities, okay, now what do we do? What do we need to do to revive this port? I was given a budget that uh, <laughs> I don't even want to say, but so of course it was impossible. Then I was saying, so there's not even a single ship here that can move in and not possible. And then, unfortunately, the person who was taking me around, there was an old dilapidated vessel there that was almost half sinking, called MV Uru. He was saying, he tunataka kuuza ni scrap, haiwezi kufanya kazi. Then I involved the military. They told me, no, 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 this we can rehabilitate, this vessel. Ladies and gentlemen, for less than almost 30 million shillings. They not only rehabilitate the vessel, the vessel is now fully functional, and to date in the space of only five or six months of operation has delivered in excess of 35 million liters of fuel to Uganda from Kisumu. Ile nilikuwa naambiwa na wenzangu wa serikali hii ni scrap na inataka bilioni sijui ngapi kununua mpya commissions too hapo hakuna kitu kingine ilikuwa hapo all right they did it and then using our young people through NYS they rehabilitated the port we now have a port that is fully functional working from a ghost town 
to a place now that is employing young men and women who are working in that port out there in Kisumu. The second example I want to use is the appointment of huyu uh, mnaitanga super governor mimi sijui hiyo ni matusi lakini muangalie ile imefanyika Nairobi again within the space of eight months we are in the process of doing almost 400 kilometers of tarmac in Nairobi we are in the process we have ensured people in Nairobi used to pay 20 shillings in our informal settlements for one jerry can of water 40 shillings a day and you can imagine what 40 shillings a day kwa mtu wa kibarua we have worked with them to ensure that we have dug boreholes people in Nairobi especially our, inf our informal settlements are now getting water not only regularly but for free The railway line to Kisumu is being rehabilitated by our military by our NYS. Okay? Jameni. If all of us had the discipline, the integrity of our armed forces, our defense forces, Kenya ingekuwa mbali sana. Kwa hivyo we shall continue and i see the military continuing to play an ever increasing role in the social economic development of our country and i will continue to advocate that they do and i continue to encourage the young people of this country to be more like them in how they conduct their day-to-day -day activities <laughs>